Good morning again, saints, in this wonderful uh, exhortation that I'm doing all these days now, just for seven days. Uh, I think this is the fifth one, if I'm not mistaken, um, to to bring up to the saints. Uh, you know, in a, you know, usually we do this in evangelistic way, where we're gonna pray for people, you know, in a live uh, campaign, or but but uh, also. It was just impressed in me to um, speak softly and and uh, politely and make a very short uh, clip to show uh, the 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 impact the, the 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 world of darkness has on us even after we. Are converted the, because usually we struggle uh, committing ourselves entirely to the to the duties of the Lord because we it slips our mind sometimes that we're in a battle and uh, especially as we see in these last days the church is in just ruins and uh, you hardly be exposed to the complete fivefold ministry because of Preachers have done what they've done. Everybody's personalized his gift, and uh, so uh, it's hardly to have a mutual fellowship amongst believers. And um, now the children of God end up not being thoroughly equipped. Uh, Satan or just a bunch of preachers group together trying to achieve anything. Satan will send a demon in there to separate them and cause hatred and things like that. Um, but uh, the other area. Uh, where demons operate is the mind. Uh, uh, it's very important to give yourself time and, and meditate on, on these things that I'm talking about here. And uh, because they, they, they really uh, concern your life and uh, they concern your house, they concern your children and the whole over well being overall well being of your of who you are and uh, if you don't uh pay heed and and be warned you'll find yourself uh facing a like they say fighting battles that you should not be fighting uh, you 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 won't know because Bible say people perish because they have no knowledge, and uh, it's good to pray uh, after you know what you're praying for because you can have proper faith uh, when you know what is your right and what is not your right. Now the 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 evil spirits are out there causing havoc. Uh, we've been just experiences this few days there about how they operate personally by destroying success, destroying, making people discouraged, and there are other areas as well where they operate, making people snap and give up, and 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 and. But but now I want to focus on the on one area where they dominate the mind and. Uh, now, when the demons dominate the mind, it's a very tricky thing because they are so uh, slick. They are so, uh, I can say, deceptive. Uh, when, when they get into the mind, like let's check in the Philippians. Um, maybe let's start to First Corinthians. First Corinthians. I just say two sixteen. I hope I'm not gonna be far. Bible saying two sixteen. Okay, verse fifteen first. Or let's start from verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, 
for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually disarmed. Uh, verse 15, But he that is spiritual judged all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. Verse 16, For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Can you believe that? That now there is two minds that battle, that fight, uh, is the human mind, uh, which the mind biblically means inspiration is a human inspiration is what drives people to do what they should things they do things that excite them is because of how they think and uh, things that they go on tv and brag about and whatever their human achievements are is because of uh, what drives their minds what thrills their minds what inspires them now what inspires you uh, determines with mind determines which mind uh, rules your life. It's either you have the mind of Christ or the mind which is inspired by demons. We live in the world where people are just aflame. They easily get excited over something, and they easily, you know, with the social medias and WhatsApps and things, they. Some, some things will be dropped in there and people command and everybody will insult and everybody will, you know, we're living in an environment that our minds are daily challenged and get exposed to, uh, to deep, different inspirations. And if you don't have to have the mind of Christ, if you don't have God descending your own heart, you, you, you will be exposed to the de demonic environment. You will be carried away uh, by that spirit that is operating in the atmosphere and, 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 and engineering the mind of the unconverted. And you yourself, you'll find yourself losing that humility, that, that, that taste of a Christian. You'll find yourself puffed up because the inspiration that is operating on the unconverted it, it, the demonology of the mind is there to puff people up, to put self-esteem on people, to make people, uh, you know, what I mean, go make things trend, uh, to, to 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 use this devil's conveyor belt to make things that are, are celebrated in the world, cheered up in TVs and and things that that are fashion things of the time. To make those things uh, populated even within our Christian ranks, to make uh, to 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 make the mind of Satan of the world uh, be, uh, be be the, be the, the talk of talk of the town in the church, and that's what is happening these days. You know, you 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 find fashion trends amongst believers. You find. Uh, on social media, uh, women that are supposed that are calling themselves prophetesses and and are singing songs and under anointing, you find them there like having their manicures and 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 it, it, they they spend almost all their public life um, over expressing the the beauty of the flesh and. And the thrill of of human uh, uh, interest, of uh, self illumination, of uh, you know that that human uh, I don't know how to call it, human uh, a praise of some sort in the flesh, and things that can't make people things that drive people. You know, you can find people uh, just a few years ago. A certain way of dressing or a certain way of talking or a certain way of uh, behaving you'll find that there was certain restrictions and in the world not even the church there were restrictions you're not you know radio stations would not even play a song that's got vulgar or uh, TV will not even show nudity or things like that then there was some kind of a revolution of some sort in the spiritual world somewhere I don't know 
and people just changed, you know. Just from the 70s, 80s, and 2000s, there's been dramatic changes in, in people's lives, in, in the way people dressed, in the way... Uh, uh, now, the spirit that is off the mind, that is operating in the atmosphere, is using television, is using, is using uh, the, the magazines, uh, all those... Uh, uh, materials that are celebrated and 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 that are pro kind of worshipped if the more than the Bible it is, they 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 are transporting the spirit from the atmosphere, which is to change the way a certain generation looks at things, and that demonology is there to destroy homes. Homes uh, now are more preoccupied. You go to any home today. Uh, you 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 find everybody sitting down in Gloria uh their eyes on TV, impressed by channels, impressed by programs. You know, mothers are no longer praying mothers. Uh, children, they have their own programs. Uh, the whole culture of uh, life, uh, Christian life, has changed to... To be like, you know, I mean, you could not believe it could be like that. You know, when we grew up, there was some sincerity and there was prayer meetings and there was uh, a, every evening prayer meeting. And uh, now, what made people to change like this is the spirit. You find that, uh, I think it's uh, Ephesians, if I'm mistaken. Uh, let me go back. Uh, Ephesians. Uh Two. Yeah, the, the Bible says here. Where well, in time is past, you walk according to the cause of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversations in times past, in the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and where by nature the gen of wrath, even as others. You, you find that, that that spirit of the air, uh, it represents a God of people. It will be what uh, is, is God of, of people in, in, in your generation. Whatever people uh, uh, worship will be from that spirit so if you take your time and look around people uh, uh, i once entered a shop there check there by the magazines everything is women 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 and then these masculine boys and all these movie actors and on that's the god of this age it's women beauty it's it's it's, it's all that it's a, a television trending things so you be careful that's a demonology that operates in that realm uh, you things that are just coming overnight and everybody follows them. Be careful. Usually there's demon. You should discern and and find the mind of Christ. Because those demonic spirits, they are to kill prayer life, they are to kill sincerity. They're working in the mind. They make you talk about things that will not really bring you closer to God, but you spend time talking about them. And praise uh, that's how you worship the God of this world. By your lifestyle and by the things that you, your tendencies. This is the Evangelist Puska kind of sending these clips. I don't want to make them long. Be blessed. That's a God of the mind.